Hello and welcome. Today we're going to continue our series on C programming, but what we're going to look at doing is we're going to look at taking uh, an application we wrote in C and compiling it for Windows, but on a Linux machine. So if you're developing on Linux, you can compile it for Windows. Of course, you'd want to test it on a Windows machine, but let's go ahead and look at that. And we don't have to change our code at all for most of our projects. Uh, so we're just going to compile our um, hello world, you know, our first little application, just this here, okay? Um, but we need a compiler that will cross compile for us. So I'm on a Debian based machine. I'm going to use aptitude as my um, package manager, but whatever distro you're on, use your package manager. And what we're going to do is we're going to search for Ming W. It's going to give us the list of packages. The one we're going to install is this uh, Ming W W64. Might be named slightly different on yours, uh, but once you install that, it's going to install, you see all these ones with eyes. It installs that, so that's a little meta package. It's going to install these, and um, also installed these ones up here. So these uh, bin utility Ming32. So you're just looking for something that says Ming W. Again, it might be called something different on other systems, um, depending on what distribution you're using. But you should be able to figure out which one is which. And uh, once it's installed, I've already installed it. So use your package manager. You know, uh, apt in oops apt or aptitude install ming w w64 again that's on a debian based system i already have it installed but you go through the install process you can also use a gui package manager if you want once that's installed uh now i'm going to type in i6 and hit tab and you can see i have i686 w64 ming 32 dash and if i hit tab a few more times it will give me uh autocomplete here and the one we're looking for is dash GCC, because you can see it's got a bunch of different compilers in here. Uh, we're going to be using the dash GCC. This may change in time. When I first started doing this, it was um, I586, I think, and now the, it's I686. So in the future, it might change, but you'll get the general idea. Once you install it, you sh it's, it's pretty self-explanatory which one is which. And just like using regular GCC, I just give it the name of our input file. Uh, dash O for output file. I'm going to put it in our bin folder and I'll just call it hello windows. Actually, let's do it. Hello dash windows dash exe. No, uh, it didn't return any errors, so we should be good. And I can use my file command to look at the file. So we'll do that. And it will tell us that this is a executable for MS Windows. And it's a console application. We'll talk more about that in a future video as we um, work on hiding our windows. Um, so yeah, let's let's. Uh, I'm gonna save this and go to a Windows machine and test it out. So here I am. I've downloaded the executable that we compiled on Linux for Windows onto an actual Windows machine. And now, if I double click it, it's gonna ask me if I, are you sure you want to run it. I'm going to uncheck that so it doesn't ask me anymore, and I'm going to click Run, and you'll see the Shell Console open up for a second and flash. Uh, obviously, if we wanted to keep that open, we'd have to tell our code to pause after running our hello uh, function, but here we are in the shell, and if I run the executable, you can see it says Hello World. So there we go. We compiled an executable for Windows on Linux, and uh, of course, you can get this code and all the other codes in this series by going to my GitLab page. That's gitlab.com forward slash metalx1000, capital my, capital bin. And in there, you can go to a folder that's marked C under tutorials, list all the files for this series. And of course, under my this particular project, this is just a bunch of random scripts and codes and stuff I've written over the years. Some of it I haven't updated in a while, but you might want to look through some other stuff on there. And uh, I hope that you also visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description to that as well. You can search through my videos. Uh, you can also go to the software section where there's a link to my GitLab page, uh, online scripts I've created, and notes are all my paste bins in a searchable format. So you can look through that as well. I do hope that you have a great day. Think about supporting me on Patreon or through PayPal. You can do that on my website or there's links in the description of this video. And I hope that you have a great day.